Good morning everyone and welcome back to the farm. Uh, this is vlog number 13 on the farm and we are, as you can see, out in our oat field. Um, since last episode, or last vlog, um, we were just over there and we just started going around but I did off screen after that vlog just go around a couple more times. Um, and started doing a bit of the land work, but then the dew came in and it was too much. So basically I just um, filled up the trailer here. And um, yeah, just got to there and then it got too dewy. So the aim for today is to get this finished, get this all combined. Uh, which will probably take us all morning. And then it's to get it baled. Um, which is going to be quite a big task as well. But we've already got a trailer load of oats. So we will get this back to the yard. I would also quite like to... Um, I think it's getting to the point in the sort of farm that we need another tractor. Um, this one is very good. And it can run everything that we want. But it's not just... We can't be everywhere at once. So... I really need to um, look into a tractor to buy. Hopefully a bit of an upgrade, definitely a bit bigger I think. Uh, so it allows us to expand. And we have got 86,000 which is quite a good amount of money for um, purchasing a tractor. So um, We will sort of just have to see what comes along at the dealership. Hopefully by sort of tomorrow we'll have to go up and have a look, see what they've got in. I knew they do get quite a lot of new tractors in uh, all the time, so um, we've also got a canola field here to harvest. And that won't be for a little while. Um, so we need to open up our grain uh, storage shed. Now I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much this holds because I've never put any grain in it, but um, we will find out. I'll just back up into here very carefully. I did put the cover on last night just to um, just in case it rained and stop the wet getting on it. Okay, so we'll get right on it, nice and straight, and we will go out. And just get this cover off quick. There we go. Just yank that off. Packed it up. And we will start to tip. So. Hopefully actually it shouldn't hit the roof. But we have to just be wary of that. So here it is. Our first crop going into storage. Well, we sell this hopefully in the winter when it gets a bit more valuable. Or just we don't have to sell it right now basically. So we can crack on. It's looking close to the roof. I think I might have to. Uh... Oh, there we go. We're... It's maximum tip now. So we've got our old drill in the corner there to sell. Also, perfect. So that's that tipped. Um, we'll just wait for that to go down. We'll leave this door open because we'll be tipping here quite regularly. So I'm aiming to get all of our um, all of our oats in storage, and then. Um, we can sell it in the winter, so we'll get rushed back to the field, and hopefully it's um, not too dewy, and we can just crack straight on with the combining. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just do quite a lot of the combining. I'll put the drone up for just to make it nice and um, quick. But we've got quite a lot to tackle today, so it's a fairly big field this one. So it'll be a lot easier if we just sort of ask our time lapse it for you so you don't have to sit through everything. So here we go. Alright, I will see you guys once we are combining.
are guys so as you can see we've almost got another trailer load so I'll probably stop here I will put the uh, pipe out uh, top that trailer off and take it back to the yard um, it's yielding quite well out here um, it is taking some time to get uh, harvested though so we will hop back in 6-3 here this is almost full um, and just drive under and empty and we won't forget to turn the combine off, we don't want to leave it running there we go Okay. so yeah we're getting there we definitely get it done today. Um, yeah, without a doubt, I'll get it done. Uh, I'll probably uh, cut a bit out so you don't have to watch it all. Even on a time lapse, I think this field will take uh, quite a while to do. So uh, yeah, so I'll probably stick this bit on a time lapse for you all, and uh, yeah, crack on, and hopefully see you when we're getting near the end. Here we are guys, so it has been a while and we are on our last run of the field, well we will be in a minute after we've turned around. Uh, our trailer is full but I'm hoping I'm going to squeeze this last bit into the combine tank. Um, the combine's been going really well. Um, yeah, we've had no problems so it's been pretty pretty easy. As you can see there's the tractor there, fill up. Uh, it's really ha handy having GPS installed on this, so it's a really nice feature. I mean, next year I think I definitely am going to do this field in either canola or uh, soybeans because there's so much straw out here that I'm going to have to bale. And I am not sure we were gonna. Well, we're not gonna need this much straw. That's for sure. So, um, we'll just get to the end here. That's it. We'll just go over and get this a little bit. There's a few odd bits that we've missed, but um, nothing too bad. So we turn the combine off. And there we are, all done. It did take me all morning, like I said it would. Um, but yeah what to expect, that's what we expected So, um, yeah also I have been on the phone to the dealership about another tractor and they said they can do a deal on the 6930 that they've got in in the shop um, I told them I wouldn't want the loader and that they can take that off and they said that's not a problem, they can knock it off the price, so, um, yeah, it's great. Um, we'll drop the header off there, but we won't actually take the combine back today, so we will just leave it out the way, just under the trees here, it'll be fine, I think, like so. Perfect, yeah, so, because uh, we need to unload that again. So yeah, I think uh, what a good thing for us to do will be is go and have a look at the tractor. Uh, I asked them on the phone if they could um, get it ready for us for viewing. And they said that's fine, so they've, they, this is this morning I rang them, so 
they've had all morning to sort of, I guess, take off the loader brackets and um, get rid of all the piping because they can just sell that separately. So, as we've got the Merlot, we're not uh, requiring a um, front loader. So, yeah, it'll make it cheaper for us as well. So, they have told me a price and it is £35,000 with. Um, with no loader, so I think that's a fairly reasonable price. Uh, it's quite a nice tractor, so yeah, I think it'll fit in on the farm well, and it's a bit more modern than this tractor here, and it's a lot more powerful. So it's the next series up. So this is a 20, and that's a 30 series. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I'll uh, head over to the shop and probably pick it up now we're going to see what they've done and they said it's ready to pick up so I think we will pick it up and um, try it on the baler straight away I think so yeah I probably uh, well we we'll unload this in the shed and then have some lunch and then walk over to the dealership and pick up the new tractor and we can start baling then so our straws um, all bailed up well We'll get a good lump of it done today. Um, it would be nice to empty the combine as well, but I think we won't have time to do all of that. So we'll just get this tipped up. Uh, I'll leave it tipped up while we go for some lunch. We've actually got a fair bit of um, oats to sell now in the winter, so... That is good. Okay, perfect. So yeah, I'll tip this up and I'll see you guys, hopefully, when we're at the shop. Okay, here we are, guys. We're at the dealership. Uh, it didn't take us too long to get here. Um, here's our new tractor. It's taken off all the brackets and I guess they just left the loader over there. But yeah, it's looking good. 6930. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased with how it is. Uh, I'm just going to go and pay for it. Um, so it's 35,000. Um, yeah, I'll go and pay for it quickly and yeah, sign all the, sign the documents and see you after that. Okay, guys, there we go, all paid for. Um, so now we just need to drive it away. It's a very nice looking tractor. Um, yeah. It's sort of similar to Rav one, but it's a bit more modern inside. So it's pretty simple to drive. Also sounds better. I think it's like 225 horsepower, I think. So it should run all of our um, equipment very well. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm uh, looking forward to getting it onto the baler and trying it out. Um, yeah, so just before I went for lunch, I did just pop back to the field and empty the last bit of grain out of the combine, um, just so we wouldn't forget. So it's all empty, ready to come back to the yard, the combine, so that's good. We'll probably do that this evening or something, or I might do it off camera, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's, uh, it's been a busy day. Um, so I will probably only get a few runs around the headland done today of the straw baling. Um, we'll see how it goes. But I doubt, well we definitely won't get it all done today. Um, it should be okay. I don't think the weather's going to um, turn bad, but I will have a look. Um, yeah, I'll have a look when we get into the odd here, off the road. Yeah, no, it's drove really well, this tractor. It's really nice. I think we left our baler in here. But it fits in well. They're kind of... Uh, this is the big brother, and this is the smaller little agile tractor. Um, so... We will just move this over here. And then we'll open the shed up. Here's our baler, so we're back onto that, get that hooked up, and 
Trandon over to the field. Perfect. So again, it's a nice looking setup. This does have some hay in it, but um, we can just get rid of that. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys when we're back over at the field. Here we are guys, so we're back uh, in the field, got the baler running, seems to be going well, um, plenty of power, but that's to be expected. Um, the dealership didn't actually sell it to us with a, a, fuel uh, a full tank of fuel, so that's annoying, but that's not the end of the world, we can always get some more. So yeah, I'm just going around this sort of headland first, then I am probably just work my way back to the edge of the field. We we'll just check this is nothing right and all going well. So yeah, this is good. Bales look okay. We will be able to um, just carry on. Yeah, I'm really pleased with the new tractor. I think we've made the right choice. I think it's a uh, a bargain. So. We're doing well. At some point, like I said, we need to get the combine back. But time is just sort of flying by, so... Um, we we'll just have to sort of get done what we can today. And just see, where, see what happens with the time. And I think we'll definitely be able to get a few runs around the uh, headland done. But yeah, I'll probably chuck the drone up now so we can... Um, just get these headlands done and then get back to you when we're uh, done. See you then. So we are back, uh, last run of the headland, um, it's yielding really well the straw, so um, yes, I think I'm going to have to look into uh, a auto stacker, I think, uh, some sort of way of moving these bales without uh, picking them all up by uh, the spikes and the merlot, because um, otherwise we'll be here a long time, even with an auto stacker it's going to take us a while. So. Um, yeah, I think that's something to sort of inquire about. Uh, I know it's an expensive bit of machinery, but it would definitely be worth it in the long run. Uh, as we don't have a trailer or anything, so... Yeah, I think uh, I'll have to call it here for the vlog. Um, just because it's getting quite late, and it's been a, it's been a long vlog, and I don't want to bore you. But um, hopefully in tomorrow's uh, vlog we can um, well I know we definitely will need to feed the cows first thing in the morning and then uh, they'll probably have some milk to sell then we can probably bring the combine back to the yard and finish off this baling so um, I'll probably carry on tonight uh, maybe get a little bit more baling done off screen but um, we'll see. But yeah, we'll get to the end of this run. And then we'll probably have to call it a vlog there. So, yeah, we've done well today. We've got this whole field combined. So, yeah, good stuff. The baler's performing well, but most importantly, the tractor's doing very well. Sounds amazing, too. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today did make sure you leave a comment uh, like and uh, give me a subscribe just 
helps out the channel. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.